right, Capricorn, we're going to take a peek at your person's overall energy, see what's going on. Hmm. Uh-oh. Let's see what else comes out. We have marrying for money. You're not going to like that one, Cappy. Rejected. Ah, maybe you knew this person was kind of looking at you. For financial stability, into you and bankrupt. Wow, Capricorn. I know, I know how you guys are with money. You work hard for it. You're responsible with it, most of you, from what I gather, you, you guys are. But I don't know, I feel like this person is into you, but I feel like you rejected them because maybe they have a lot of debt and felt like it was going to weigh on your shoulders. So you rejected this person. Um, if it's not money necessarily, it could just be stability, all right? It could just be for stability. Maybe you felt this person was unstable, made bad decisions, and you were just kind of like, uh, uh, I don't know if I want to take that on. But let's see. Let's see. We'll take a look at Capricorn's person's current energy, current situation. Keep in mind, Capricorn, it is a general reading. Energies can be flip-flopped and reversed. Same to you, Cross Watcher. Also, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel for me. I appreciate you. And if you're watching this after the fact, after the live, it will be clipped and reposted throughout next week. All right. Yeah, this person, they're stuck. They have they have some kind of financial debt or they're just very unstable and it's keeping them stuck. I feel like they're confused, not knowing decisions, not seeing clearly. I don't know why this is surrounded around that money, finances, stability, but it is. Uh, I feel like they want reconciliation here. Decision, decisions, decisions. Ooh, it got cold and cut off. Things got cold and cut off between the two of you. Breadcrumbing? Or they could have been like borrowing money from people to pay other people. I, I, this, I don't know. This person's got some not, not stable energy. They're kind of young. Maybe immature when it comes to the stability part of things. I just feel like you were looking at this person, Capricorn, like, I don't want to be a part of this person's bad decisions, mismanagement of things. But let's see, what's blocking, what's interfering? Yeah, you're not going to, I don't think you're going to reconcile with this person. Could have blocked them. I don't think you even regret it, to be honest with you. Like, you probably feel bad and stuff, but you're, like, trying to maybe dodge a bullet here. Stability. Long-term stability, fi uh, family dynamic, financial stability blocked. You could be dealing with a air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Or something shocking or unexpected. I have Virgo energy here too. I mean, if you look at look at the big picture, and I don't want to feel like I keep putting this person down, but when I look at the big picture here, I know how you guys are with money and finances and stability and work and, and all of that. You're very protective of what you've created, right? You are. You're very protective. So if this person is not in that situation, you feel like they're leaning on you. I just feel like, yeah, you're not having that. Pentacles keep, they keep coming out. Pentacles everywhere. And then with the Knight of Pentacles being a blockage, it's like maybe you felt they weren't being very like strategic or planned or methodical with things. And you didn't want to be stuck in that. Yeah, you didn't, I don't know, you didn't see long-term happiness. I, I feel like this is just not a match. The two of you, it's like you're not compatible. 
Let's see, how does this person feel about you? Capricorn, how does this person feel about you? They feel like you were sneaking money? You were being lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing, manipulating with money, finances? Please don't get mad at me for delivering these messages, all right? I'm just reading the energies. The chemistry, there's no chemistry here between the two of you. This was a very like practical situation. I'm not getting a lot of emotion. I'm not getting a lot of like attraction, passion, desires, chemistry. They feel like you're moving on, which I feel like you are too. I do. I feel like you're moving on. It's, it's weird. This person's feeling like you played them. You were maybe toxic or controlling or out of line. They feel like, Capricorn, you're going to regret this. You're going to regret losing me. They do. They feel that way. I feel like they cared about you. I just feel like it was just off. Yeah. They want to be on the same page, but you weren't. It created arguments, drama, disputes, conflict, and they want to heal it. They want to heal this. Are, are you going to? I don't think you're going to. You may talk to them. You may talk to them, hear them out, see what they have to say. I don't think you want to leave them out in the cold, though. <sighs> For some of you, I feel like there might be a reconciliation. But you're going to take this stance as emperor here, and I feel like you are going to kind of, like, pay very close attention to this person. As far as the mismanagement or bad decisions, I mean, you could have been married to this person. And they just, they were, maybe it's an addiction, a spending addiction or something like that. Or they weren't giving what they needed to give. You know, it could have been a, a strong connection here. But it's very, it's like a practical energy. I'm not getting a lot of like love and emotion and chemistry. And it's just not here. It just seems like it's more about stability, finances, money, all of that. I don't know. The potential is here for you to heal this with this person. It is if you want to. This person, they don't want to lose you. I feel like maybe they know they messed up. But every time you try to talk to this person and get on the same page, it seems like it does turn into a big fight or argument. Very, like, defensive. Right. What does this person want to say to you? Father wounds. Uh, yeah, definitely some kind of trauma. Uh, my father is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges with connecting to the divine masculine energy within me and externally. So is it like they spend money to buy happiness, you know? Throw money at things. You hurt me. Everything that happened hurt me so much I needed more time to heal. That could, that could be you. Spoiling you. I want to give you the good life. I want to spoil you with gifts and trips. Everything you could ever need or want. You deserve nothing left. There, there it is. Again, it's still... Their mentality is still there. Yeah, they want to spoil you and shower you with gifts. What is that? That costs money. Traveling, vacations... It's like they do want to they do <clears throat> want to give this all to you. They do want to be a part of your life, but they're you're just not on the same page when it comes to that kind of stuff. All right. <clears throat> Let's get some numbers. Could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years, an angel number or an age. <clears throat> we have 99411. So angel number 99. So four nine or sorry four seven nine nine eleven uh, forty seven seventy four ninety seven play around with the numbers April 
July, September, and November. Zodiac signs you could be dealing with, strong placements in their charts, or something could happen during that season, like Capricorn season. Scorpio, Gemini, Aries, Sagittarius. Scorpio, Gemini, Aries, Sagittarius. Could be any sign, you guys. It is a general reading. All right. Could be any sign. I had a lot of air show up. Virgo, Sagittarius, Capricorn showed up. Aries showed up. All right. Letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. All right. We have H X A P V uh, M. O B I G. So A X P H V M O B I G. And I have D U Y S looking up at me. All right, Capricorn, that is what I have for you this week. All right, Capricorns. Oof. <laughs> 